Um, now, last time I taught you how to move energy and how to feel it. And I explained in that video that um, in one of the next videos I would teach you about Velo. Um, let's get down to the nitty gritty of what exactly Velo is. Velo stands for Voluntary Energetic Longitudinal Oscillation. Once again, that is Voluntary Energetic Longitudinal Oscillation. Now, what in tarnation does that even mean? Well, <clears throat> this is what it is. It is the process in which someone moves their energy up and down in their body in a longitudinal pattern in order to achieve a higher vibration and speeding up the level of energy to uh, be able to obtain more energy and actually um, keep intact one's spiritual health. Now that may sound like a bunch of uh, college gibberish. Well, I'm going to deeper explain. Basically what um, the exercise I did in the last video was velo, which was basically starting off from the top of your head and taking the energy and moving it downward to your feet and then eventually moving back up yet feeling where the energy is going throughout your entire body and as you keep going and you start speeding the energy up it raises your vibration now what is vibration and why does it need to be sped up well um see the spirit some may call it the soul, the astral body, the energy body, what have you, is maintained with amounts of energy that are in a particular vibration. Now, it depends on what we do um, with our daily lives, depends on the vibration that it's in. Well, no matter what, Velo is um, there to make sure that we can keep our energy in check so that we feel good and that we, you know, we don't feel run down or overloaded with energy. Um, vibration, whenever someone says um, raising your vibration, it means, um, it means keeping the energy within you in balance um, to where you can fully function as a spiritual entity and also for physical and mental overall health because that all ties into one another. It's a very complicated process that took me a while to, you know, figure it out, simplify it. But um, in layman's terms, Velo is like exercise for the body. If we go for a nice walk, we're keeping our weight in check so that it doesn't, you know, we don't get fat and that we don't feel run down by all that. Yet, we maintain this energy and we continue, yet we also nourish ourselves to make sure that we don't get too thin and we don't feel too weak. So basically, one thing that Velo does is it makes sure that we don't have too much energy or too little. It keeps everything in a balance. It balances your chakras, which are your main energy points, which I will explain those too in another video. But Velo is a good thing to do when you're feeling run down or when you're feeling like you got a lot on your plate, when you're too stressed, when you feel like you're going to explode, it's nice to meditate and do Velo. Now, Velo is not the only meditation that you can do. Everyone has their own thing. Velo is not for everybody. There are different ways to do it. But um, Velo has a wide range of different meditations you can do. So it's not like Velo is a non-universal meditation style. It's basically a meditation style that a lot of people use and they don't even know it. Now, um, does, is that all that Velo does? 
just balances our energy. No, 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 no. There's just a lot of things it does. Um, a lot of times our energy points can become blocked with either too much energy or they stopped moving. The vibrations have totally stopped and stood still, inhibiting more energy from flowing through and then inhibiting our health. It unblocks those. It raises our spiritual barriers to protect us from outside forces like demons and negative energies, curses, and all that. It keeps our spiritual defenses up. Um, it improves our overall health, mental, physical. It improves all that. Like when you're feeling run down and you don't want to do anything, it's good to do velo, and it should help improve your mood to a nice positive nature. Um, Velo cleanses the body of negative energies that have attached themselves to us, which is what makes us feel weak or run down that we don't even see. Um, it keeps our chakras in perfect balance and order so that we can continue on our spiritual path without being inhibited. Um, sometimes a spiritual technique does not work because we are blocked. We are spiritually and energetically blocked. This helps, and this helps us, you know, maintain more energy. It raises our vibration, and when your vibration is raised, oh, you can feel it. Soon your whole body will start vibrating, and that's a good sign. It's a really good sign that your spiritual defenses are up and running. Um, Velo can also increase our energy as well. It can increase our power and, um... So if one were to do a spiritual ritual, a powerful spell, let's say, and they really wanted to make sure that it worked and it was focused, not only would they like uh, they need to have belief and faith, but it would also be a good idea to do some form of meditation or velo um, before doing something like that, and then it could raise our spiritual vibrations and therefore give us more energy and prevent any obstacles or inhibitions from actually stopping what we're trying to do so there's a lot that velo can do and it's a very powerful um meditation style it was actually in one of the books i read it can also and i have i unfortunately have not been successful with this yet i feel like my mind is too distracted but it also um increases uh, the potential to have an OBE or out-of-body experience. Some people also say astral projection. Um, now, uh, basically that means that the spirit can exit out of the body without dying. It can travel the spiritual plane and um, outward and the universe, different dimensions, all of that. Now, I can't get, I'm not going to get into full detail with all that. Eventually, down the line, I will when I talk about psychic abilities, but it also, it will, um, let's just call it lucid dreaming, too. Lucid dreaming is kind of like an out of body experience, but you're still inside the body. You're inside your subconscious, but you have the ability to more vividly remember your dreams, sometimes even control your dreams. You know, that's called lucid dreaming. So, Velo also helps with that, and, um, I'm just going to say that astral projection is another uh, step towards your spiritual path and trying to raise your vibration to find out who you are and why you were put on this planet, all that. So I'm just going to say that and nothing more. Um, now, Velo is not the only way to raise vibration. There are all kinds of meditation styles. Um, praying is actually another way to raise one's vibration. If you've ever prayed to like, I don't know, you know, a god or spirit or idol or altar and you feel vibrations all over, you're emitting spiritual energy and you're also attracting spiritual energy to whatever you're praying to. So that's another way. Um, performing magical spells um, can also raise your vibration if you're really focused. Some people will meditate during 
and um, that's a great way to keep focusing and eventually you'll raise your vibrations and it'll feel like an electrical feeling going through your um, body. No, it's not going to kill you. It's not like a real electrical shock, but it's like a little tickle that kind of goes throughout your body. When you feel that happening and, you know, you just feel so powerful and you feel like, oh, you're just ooh, so strong. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Keep that feeling going. That's actually uh, one of the significant signs that your spiritual defenses are up, working, and defending you. Um, that's just one of the signs to tell us. Now, how do we know if our vibration is raised? That's a good question. Well, not only will you feel the vibration feeling and the feeling of being stronger, you'll feel uplifted. You will feel like nothing can hurt you. You'll feel inspired all of a sudden, and you won't even know where this inspiration is coming from. You will just feel like you want to do everything and you can do everything. It's an amazing feeling. It really lightens your mood and, you know, it really cleanses the spirit. Um, and you may notice that, you know, you know, if you were having a headache and you did velo, all of a sudden the headache's gone, that could have been because you removed an energetic block that was near your crown or third eye chakra. So therefore, that was the cause of the headache and now it's gone. So basically feeling like not feeling too much pain around or, you know, not feeling sore in the spots, you know, I kind of feel like you have perfect health, the feeling, you know, that you have no pain. It's a good way of noticing your health is in perfect balance. Now, I'm not saying if you do velo, you should stop eating fruits and vegetables. That's not what I'm saying. In fact, eating healthy can actually improve vibration. So um, that's another way to keep your your energy in check, you know, and you do feel better when you eat fruits and vegetables, don't you? That's another way. So that's an, um, so those are just the main signs that your, um, that your vibrations are raised, but the most significant thing that you will feel is that electrical feeling. And you won't just feel it in one particular spot. You'll feel it throughout your whole body. If you're feeling it in just like your arm or something or your hand, that part of your body's vibration or spirit um, spirit counterpart might be, you know, raised. But it doesn't mean everything else is. So you might want to work on it, you know. But mainly try Velo, which actually was in the last video. So keep using that energy to go up, down, up, down. You can make it even go side to side if you wanted to. Maybe slant ways works for you, any slant ways way. Um, you know, just as long as the energy is moving in a repetitive pattern from one end of the body to another. And as you're doing that, start off slow and then eventually try and speed up. Now, sometimes if you speed up and all of a sudden you feel so jittery that you lose focus, stop. It just means that our body is not used to that amount of energy. It, it creates like a super jolt. Um, I felt it many times when I'm trying to do astral projection, when I've tried velo. So all I do is stop and I begin again. And I, I start slow again and then I continue until I feel that feeling. And if it's too much for me again, I stop, take a break continue don't just keep pushing and like i feel like you're suffering or nothing no suffering is definitely not what this is all about you know it's about relaxation it's about being at peace you know peace of mind peace heart peace soul all that being at peace all over um i hope this helps you guys and i hope that i was able to more simply explain velo in a way that um, you guys could understand. Um, if you still have any questions about it, feel free to you know comment on this video or um, 
check this email if you want. You know what? Go ahead. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to teach. I am not here to belittle you or your confidence. I am here to raise you guys up to your spiritual best, and I'm trying to help you. So don't be afraid to reach out to me. I don't judge. I'm here to help. I promise. Thank you guys so much. And uh, I hope your spiritual path is a smooth journey. <laughs>